some exercises for people with back pain. These exercises will help you relieve the back pain. So uh, before starting the exercises, I would like to highlight on certain points. The first and foremost is that there are innumerable causes for the back pain. So whenever you get a back pain, if it goes on for quite some time, you definitely have to consult your family doctor. You do investigations if required and rule out any serious causes. So before getting into the exercises, you need to be sure that there are no serious causes for your back pain. And second thing is that you have to start very slowly, very very slowly you start, don't do everything together. Just choose one or two exercises initially which are easier for you and then gradually you go up. Whenever you have a acute back pain, do not do the exercises. Only when it gets relieved, when you are okay, then you again start the exercises. So I think now we'll go on to the exercises. So the first one, you have to stand close to the wall. So once when you stand close to the wall, you notice that there's a gap between your back and the wall. So the first thing you need to do is to obliterate that gap. You need to get rid of that gap so that your spine becomes straighter. For that, what you do is you squeeze in your abdominal muscles. The muscles around your umbilicus need to be squeezed in. You don't need to hold your breath, just hold the muscles in. So just, just holding the muscles inside. You can feel that your spine straightens here. That is very important when you do exercises for your back, for people with back pain. So first you hold in the muscles. Now you keep your legs slightly away and then you slowly go down. You go down like this. Just stop where you find it difficult. Then Stay in that position for around 5 seconds and then gradually you come. You need not go very far down, just do as much as you can. As you do every day, you will start improving. The second one is you have to hold on to something, you just support yourself with something, onto something and then raise your toe. You remain in that position again for 5 seconds and then count down. So initially you start with low counts 2 or 3 times each lasting for 5 seconds and then gradually every day you, you, you try to uh, improve. The third one is you have to stand straight and just stretch backward. Do not stretch too much, just stop where you feel uncomfortable. Just a little small stretch backward, arch your back down backward, remain in the position for 5 seconds and then you come You can actually spread your legs, that will be more easier. So these are exercises that you can do in your standing position. Now we'll go on to the exercises on the floor. Now we'll do the exercises on the floor. I'm doing it on a yoga mat. So I think that will be advisable. That is advisable. And I'm doing it without my shoes. Those who want to wear their shoes can wear it. I feel comfortable without the shoes. So I'm doing it like that. So first what we do is we lie down. So again when you lie down, you notice that there is a gap between your back and your and the floor. So you need to get rid of that gap. So just squeeze in your muscles around the umbilicus. Just squeeze it in and you can feel that your back straightens. So first exercise is this itself. You just have to squeeze in your abdominal muscles. Hold it for 5 seconds and then relax. So you can feel the spine straighten. Just hold it, hold it for 5 seconds and then relax. So first you practice doing that. So next one what we do is leg raising. So for that first you straighten your spine. Just pull in the 
the stomach muscles and then lift one of the lower limbs you can lift it up to maybe 30 to 35 degrees hold it in that position for 5 seconds and then come down you can start very slowly and do all the exercises very slowly do not be in a hurry and don't be over enthusiastic and you can repeat on the other side so we are starting very slowly so this is the next one. Now for the next exercise, you have to raise the whole leg. You raise the whole leg like this and you can support it with your hands. So for some people, this leg raising might be a bit difficult. So what you do is you can flex the opposite leg like this. So this becomes straight and becomes easier. So you can hold it like this for 5 seconds and then come back to this position and then straight you can repeat with the other leg you can raise it all together like this and support it or you can flex the other leg and keep it more straight and then come back so as you improve what you do is you raise it hold it like this and then try to come back in the same position without flexing you can try to come back that is after some time you can try doing that okay so next one is again you try to straighten your spine you try to obliterate this gap and then you flex one of your knees you can either hold it below the knee like this or some older people who have osteoarthritis of the knee who find it very difficult to flex you can hold it behind the thighs as well you can hold it like this and try to flex you try to bring it as close to you as to your chest as possible so initially it may not be possible but then gradually you can do it so if you are stopping here there's no problem initially you can just stop it there every day when you do it it will improve so just hold it here again for five seconds I can do it like this also and then come back like this and straight you repeat on the other side you can flex it hold it for five seconds and you come back like this and straight as I said earlier when you do it for a few days then you will be able to do it more easily you just can flex it and without touching the floor you can just straighten your legs and then come down this is after some time you can do okay so next one you do both the legs together for that again you keep your spine straight and then flex both the legs together here also you can hold it here or you won't you can hold it here also so I'm holding it here. Hold it for five seconds. Either you can come down like this, or when you are more experienced, then you can straighten it out like this and then come down. Initially, you don't try to straighten it out like that because it causes a little bit of strain on your back. So initially you come down and then straight. Okay. So going on to the next one. And what we do is you flex your knees and then slowly you raise your hip off the floor. You can raise it like this. So if you can see it will remain like a straight line. So you hold it on for five seconds. It's a very relaxing exercise for everybody, not only those with the back pain, anybody can do it. It's very relaxing. And then you Come down. Okay. So next one I'm going to show you is again you flex and then you give a small twist. You're twisting your legs to one side and twisting the head to the other side. So you can twist like this. 
So when you're twisting, see the legs, you can touch the floor actually like this. But initially, this may not be possible. Sometimes you'll be able to do only till this. So that is okay. So after some time, you'll be able to touch. So this twisting movement is very useful. Hold it in each position for around 5 seconds. Now next what we'll do is, we'll get up. So every person with a back pain, when you get up, it's better you roll to one side and then get up. Even from your sleep when you're getting up, you roll to one side and then get up like this. Okay, now what we'll do is, You can stand in this position. It's a very popular exercise, like you say the cat and the camel. So you can slowly inhale and just go up like this. And then slowly exhale and come down. I've seen people doing it very vigorously. So don't arch your spine. Don't do it faster. Just do it very slowly. So doing it very fast, I think, will cause some strain to your back. So the arching, uh, reflection, everything is should be within your comfort limits. It should not cross the comfort zone. Now next, what we do is stand in this position again and try raising your leg so you can hold it like this for 5 seconds and then come down repeat on the other leg ok so this you can repeat for a few counts and after that what you do is first you raise one leg and then raise the opposite hand and try to balance yourself. Initially this may not be possible, but after some time you'll be able to do it easily. This one again. Hold for 5 seconds. Increase the time if possible. Okay. Another one we do is Lie down, keep your hands on either side of your shoulders and then slowly rise up. You can inhale when you rise up. Actually you should rise up to the umbilicus. The position should be like up to here you should raise but not initially. Initially just as much as you can. So. Again, I'm showing you this is a go up, look up, be in that position for 5 seconds and then slowly come down. So these are some of the exercises that will help to relieve the back pain. Now I will be doing another video for people with back pain who would like to reduce your tummy. So there are few more exercises which I will be including in that also. So if you find the video useful, please do like it and share it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.